everybody, thank you for watching. Today I filmed a get ready with me and this is the look that I came up with. I wanted to try out the new Kim Kardashian contour sticks. So instead of just doing a review on them, I figured I would do a full get ready with me. So that way I could see if I personally really loved it with the other products that I use in my foundation routine. If you guys want to see how I got this makeup look right here, then please keep watching. For primer today, I'm using the Kylon Ultra Base and I'm just going to like pat it all over my face. For foundation, I'm using the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation in the color 5. Also, as you guys know, I got my keratin treatment and my hair dyed on Monday, so I'm not able to wash it until tomorrow so that's why I have like hair dye all around my roots so it looks a little funky and I have a tank top on. So today I'm going to be trying out the new KKW Beauty Cream Contour and Highlight Kits. I ordered all four of them when they launched. I really did personally want to try them so I figured I would try them today. I'm going to use probably medium or dark, I don't know, I have to see how they look. But I saw so many people complaining about the packaging, saying they didn't like the packaging. My opinion, which is funny because once I opened them and I brought them upstairs is, I don't know if you guys have heard of Pat McGrath, but she actually puts her packaging in something very similar. So it's kind of like the same type of bag, but she fills hers with sequins and then it's like all her awesome products inside. So I know Kim had done um, like a collab video with Pat before her line launched. So I'm wondering if that's where she got her inspiration from. Kind of a similar idea. So I don't, I honestly don't hate it. I think it's fine because it is a kit. So there are a few products in them, but I'm going to open up the medium. So they come in another bag. I'm sure you guys have seen so many reviews of these. So I'm going to just try and keep it pretty short and sweet. So I'm the type of person that has to cream contour. Not always all over my face, but like my nose, I go in, as soon as I do my foundation, I go right to the cream contour on my nose. So I'm gonna use these in place of my cream contours. And you guys know how much I love contouring my nose. So I feel like I will be a good judge of how these products actually work. And this is the medium contour and this is the dark contour. I'm confused because I just opened up one of them and it says dark contour and medium contour so this is the dark contour is that supposed to be in the same kit let's see dark contour and then this has a dark highlight and like a matte highlight so this is called medium contour which I'm confused because I'm pretty sure this one says highlight on it so hold on a second so these three came together and then this came together. Let me open this and see what happened here. And this one says medium contour and medium highlight. Medium contour and highlight. So what my assumption is, is it's just in the wrong bottle because this should be called dark highlight. I guess they just put the dark highlight in a medium contour bottle, which is weird. All right, well, I definitely want to use the dark just from seeing the colors. And I saw a lot of people complaining about the amount of product that you get. I do agree it is a very small amount of product. So the whole kit was $48. So basically it's like 24 and 24 and then like, let's say the brush is free. So it's $24 for the stick. I definitely think they could have given you more product. Um, for sure. I mean, if you have any other contour sticks or foundation sticks, they usually give you a lot more product. So I'm going to swatch these just to make sure I want to use the dark. This is the medium contour. Yeah, I definitely have to use dark. These are the contour shades, the medium kit, and then the dark kit. So I'm definitely going to use the dark. I'm going to use even the darkest contour for my nose. On the left side is the medium kit and on the right side is the darker kit. So you guys can see for my skin tone, I would definitely use the matte highlight in the dark kit but not the shimmer highlight because it's too dark for my skin tone. It would be pretty as like an eyeshadow base but I would have to use the medium kit for the highlight. So everything I watched, they were talking about using the lighter color on your nose. I personally like to use a darker color so I'm going to start contouring. I feel like so many people just want to hate it, like to hate it, but I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion because I don't care who makes the makeup or the product. If I like it, I like it. I'm going to do some of my cheeks. So far, it looks pretty pigmented that I don't feel I need to keep adding on the product. Um, 
I'm gonna blend it though and I'll see if I need to add more. So before I ever blend out my contour, I always do my concealer. So I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I wanted to use all of my same other products that I normally do for my full face. That way I can give you guys like my honest opinion. And then what I like to do is I like to take the shape tape. I'm gonna use the color medium. And then I always apply this right down the sides. And this is gonna help tame down that like dark, dark brown. Probably like a little here and here. So first I blend in the concealer under my eyes. I leave the concealer on the sides of my nose, like the liquid one, until after. This is exactly what I would do if it were any other cream contour. So concealer first. So now to blend out the cream contour, I'm using this Morphe M436 brush. The reason that I like to go darker with the contour is you can use less product. I feel like if you use the lighter product, I would have had to use a lot more because you want it to actually show once it's blended. So normally like when I do apply a cream contour on my cheeks and stuff, literally as much as I applied is how much I need. So I may apply a little bit more just for like a little bit extra. I didn't even need to, like if I wanted to keep it more natural I could have left it. It did honestly blend out nicely, it's creamy, it's not like very chalky and I'm using such a light hand on the brush. It doesn't feel dry or anything like that. I should probably be using the brush that came with it, right? Let me try it. Alright. So I'm going to blend out this side with this brush because this is my brush I always use with cream contours. And then I'm gonna use her brush for the other side so you can see the difference. I honestly forgot I came with it. So I'm gonna use the flat end of this side. I'm gonna blend out my jaw as well with this. So I'm just going to use my beauty blender to just kind of blend all of the concealer and contour together. I would say the brush is fine. I mean, I'm such a creature of habit, I probably would never just go and grab this brush or the one that I use. Um, they're similar in shape, but I like how this one has like the dual um, brushes. I feel like it's better for a cream product, but this one did blend out. Pretty good. I'm gonna use my brush I always use to blend out my nose contour. So what I always do is I pat the concealer down the side and then I like slowly drag it over. So I'm going to use a little bit of the lighter contour and like kind of line my lips a bit. So now I'm going to go in with the, the dark highlight is definitely going to be too dark for me because it's more of like a brown. So I'm going to go in with the medium highlight. It's more of like a champagne-y color which is probably much better for my skin. And I'm just going to, I don't like to just draw on highlight so I'm going to draw it onto my finger and just dab it a little bit. And this is actually really pretty, I like this. It's very subtle, but it gives you like kind of like a glow. Normally I don't highlight my nose right now, but I'll do it anyway. So the medium highlight, I definitely like. Um, the dark highlight would be way too dark for me, so. I have to get two kits, which means that's already a hundred bucks right there. So. Honestly, for like a makeup lover, like obviously regardless if they were bad or not, I was buying it because I wanted to try it. If you're on a budget, probably could skip out. So I'm just going in with a little more of that concealer on the sides just to accentuate that nose a little bit more. 
I'm not gonna use the matte highlight on my face because I don't like that type of texture personally. So as you can see right now, it actually looks really, really pretty. It looks very soft and blended really nice, I think. So obviously we can't leave it like this. I have to set, so I'm going to set my under eyes uh, with the Kat Von D setting powder. So I'm just setting right under my eyes and then right down the sides of my nose. So you blend out the wrinkles, obviously. You can do it under here if you want to accentuate it. So my own personal suggestion, not that my opinion matters, she could do whatever she wants, but maybe in the future she could sell them not as kits and maybe individual for a lower price and that way people can kind of mix and match and buy the colors that they want because in my opinion with contour and highlight people are always mixing colors and it's really hard to find colors that can just be categorized into a medium, light, dark, ultra dark. Um, like for instance, I prefer dark contour but I can't use a dark highlight because it'll look dark on my face. So maybe in the future she'll sell them as individuals and that way people can spend $24 and just get the contour stick or they just get the highlight stick, whichever that they prefer. Use your judgment. I mean, it's Kim, her name's on it. Some people will buy it just for that reason. Personally, so far, I really like how it looks. I'll give you my opinion once my full makeup is done. So now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ebony. And then I'm using the Ebony Powder to fill them in a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna brush away the powder. So this is it without any contour powders or anything like that. I'm gonna go in with my Shade and Light palette to go over them a little bit. The product looks really nice, which is super important. I would tell you guys honestly, if it didn't look good because I do this routine basically every single day, I can't live without cream contour. So I'm gonna just go in with my Shade and Light palette and I'm just gonna darken up my face a little bit. And with the Sigma E45 tapered brush, I'm gonna go in with the two lighter powder shades and I'm just gonna go right over the contour just a little bit. To highlight my under eyes, I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation in the color 53. And I'm just gonna apply that right on like the sides to brighten a bit. So whatever is like left over on my brush, I'm just gonna like very lightly blend the bronzer into that powder so it's not too, too white under the eyes. So I'm gonna use the, I keep getting confused because it says medium contour, but it's the dark highlight. I'm gonna use the dark highlight matte shade and I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my lids. I'm just gonna use the middle shade from the Kat Von D kit for a brown shadow, and that's all I'm gonna use on my eyes today. We're just gonna add a little bit of um, depth into your eyes, it's gonna make them look a little bit bigger. Anytime I'm doing like a natural look, which obviously I wouldn't wear this much face makeup, I just use my bronzer as a quick eyeshadow, or I use my palette, I mean, whatever I have in front of me. Whatever's easiest. And then I saw her use the contour under her eyes as well so I'm going to use the lighter side which is this one and I'll just try it underneath my eyes. I always apply a shadow under my eyes kind of like what I'm doing here. I like it pretty thick. I think it really opens up your eyes when you do that. And then with this Morphe E36 little baby brush I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to grab my palette because I want like a shimmery brown. So I'm going to take this shimmer brown and I'm just going to 
put that over the cream because anytime I use a cream, I like to at least have some sort of shadow or powder over it so it doesn't move. So then I'm just gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Eyeliner. And for this look, I'm gonna probably only do lashes on the outer half to give it a more um, like sultry look. So I'm gonna keep the wing thicker on the end and thinner on the inside. I'm taking the medium highlight and I'm gonna apply that right here and under my brow. And this really is a pretty champagne color. So I've never tried these lashes before. These are Kiss Lily Lashes, they're called. Um, the style is called Lily, so they're not Lily Lashes, they're Kiss brand. Kind of only want to put them on the outer. I used to do that all the time and I haven't done it in so long. So you know what? I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to cut like three big chunks, ugh, I hate that word, off the inner corner. And that way they are better for like the outer half. And I have this Inglot pigment, it's number 121. It's like a really pretty shiny yellow and um, I bought a bunch of these a couple weeks ago. And let me know if you guys want me to do a video because I bought like so many of these and I thought it'd be cool to do like a swatch video. Whenever I'm like looking up products and I don't know what color to get, I always try and find like people who swatch like all of them next to each other and it's very hard to find. So if you guys want to see something like that, let me know. It was an idea I thought of, I just haven't done it yet. So I'm just gonna apply this over that cream highlight, just to give it like a little pop. I'm gonna put a little bit of my champagne gold color over that nose highlight. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Tarte Gifted Mascara. I still don't have a mascara that I really love, guys. I may just have to make my own. I'm gonna take a little more of my loose powder and apply it under my eyes so I can do the bottom mascara without ruining my whole face. And for lips, I'm gonna do like a bright red today. So I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Rosary Lip Liner. Really quickly, I saw a lot of people asking about my lips in my last video and I feel like I get this in every video. But I haven't got my lips injected in over two years and a few months ago I actually had the hyaluronic acid injected to like remove any like the bumps and like the remaining Juvederm so although they still look big I, there's no Juvederm in my lips at this point. Um, it might be like a little scar tissue or whatever and that's why they still look a little bit bigger but again I haven't done them in two years and I had the hyaluronic acid injected which makes the Juvederm go away so I probably won't do them again probably for a long time so for those asking no I have not recently done them haven't done them in a while and this is just what they look like now so and this is ColourPop Creeper for her lips. And last step is blush. I'm gonna use this like pinky shade. And then I'm gonna try, I haven't used this before, the Cover Effects Mattifying Setting Spray. I shouldn't have done that with my hair. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of that same, I'll show it to you because there's no names on my palette. This color highlight, and I'm gonna just do a little bit on my chest. And just a drop. Just a drop. So now that I'm dressed and I kind of did my hair, I really couldn't do much because it's literally super, super flat and I don't want to use like hairspray or anything, so this is just how I'm going to do it today. Um, I would definitely say overall I love how my makeup turned out. It kind of looks like how I always do it, which is good. So the products do work. Whether or not they're worth the price, I feel like everyone use your own judgment. If you want to try them, buy them. If you don't, don't. I feel like so many people just want people to get up on here on camera and be like, it's horrible, don't buy it, whatever, but I love how it came out, so it's really all about preference. I do think they could give you a lot more product for the price that you're paying, and I didn't love how like the dark highlight wouldn't work for my skin tone. I think it would be cool if she sold them as separates for a little bit of a lower price, but hey, this is her product, her line, and I'm sure with everyone's feedback, she will 
taken into consideration for her next products that she launches. That is it for now. I am filming another video with my best friend tomorrow. We are going to do the um, make your best friend look like you tag. I saw Nikki Tutorials do it and people always think we look like anyway so I thought it'd be really cool to transform her into me. So stay tuned for that video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll see you guys later.